Hi guys, welcome to this video and today I'm using the engraved flowers by Altenew and this stamp set is stunning. I just love it and this is a brand new stamp set which is a part of the November 2018 release. This has some exceptionally beautiful flowers and uh, they were they also come with a coordinating die and for today of course i had to do uh, no line water coloring on some arches cold press water paper and uh, for that i created a little mask using my post it notes and uh, i'm just stamping it with any random ink by alt new and then i'll use my sharp pair of scissors to cut this beautiful uh, image and that will help me to create a beautiful layered impression so this flower is stunning and at this point i want to apologize to you that there was a lot of glare in this um, particular video because uh, i don't know the light was too bright or something like that that they were um, you might have to struggle a bit to see the lines but then once i start adding uh, the colors things will be better and you'll be able to see how i paint this uh, entire flower so uh, my apologies in advance and i hope you'll consider this and uh, here you can see that i'm adding this mask and then building my layers so i'm using a couple of stamps from the stamp set and uh, using a very very uh, light pale ink you can use uh, alt new sand dunes but i'm using the distress ink in antique linen on some arches cold press water paper so i'm trying to position all the flowers and leaves uh, so that a beautiful cluster is created and uh, then we'll be ready to paint for today i have used crimson rubellite bamboo forest glades evergreen citrus burst and sun gist there might be few other shades which are all from the gorgeous alt new 36 watercolor pan set i am just addicted to that and i love it so much the pigments and the shades are so beautiful so that you know every card you create becomes gorgeous and beautiful so now this is the portion where i really wanted to apologize um there's a lot of glare here and you cannot see the light uh, uh, distress ink lines but i'm sure you'll be able to understand how i am going to add my paint on that so i'll stop speaking here and uh, you can see how i color this panel which is which which took me a while it took me around 40 45 minutes to paint this small little card panel and i consider all these a little miniature paintings in themselves so i hope you'll enjoy this and uh, once this is done we'll come back together and assemble the card
so we are ready with the card and uh, i have added all the shadows and uh, highlights and this card panel looks stunning so now is the time to add a sentiment to finish this card and i'm using the jet black ink by alt new and i'll also add some light faint gray splatters at the background so as to make everything look well blended and beautiful so i'll just trim the edges and i'm going to adhere this uh, watercolor panel using some foam tape onto a card base so this is done and i hope you enjoyed this these are some final photographs of the card and uh, i uh, will really appreciate if you can leave uh, me a comment and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much see you soon bye bye take care